You're watching Nevada Business Chronicles. Take a journey with us to see the innovative businesses that put Nevada on the business map. Connecting you with the businesses, events, and organizations that bring innovation and prosperity to the Nevada area, please welcome your host, Mitch Burney. If you want to catch a game, if you want to go have a great time, and you want to go to a sports bar, I'm sure you already know the place to go is Bullies. And today, we're here with Joe Sonner, owner of Bullies. Joe, thanks so much for agreeing to be on our show. Thank you for being here. This is opening Sunday football. What an exciting place to be, and wait till you see the action here at Bullies. Joe, it looks like a Bloody Mary Sunday weekend recovery here at Bullies. We should have been with them last night. We should have. Well, are you excited for game day? Oh, yeah! I'm sure you have to carry a lot of libations for these football fans. We do. At this location, we have 24 different beers on tap and Ice cold bottled beer. Ice cold, literally bottled beer. Yes, and plenty of drink specials at all the time. Joe, you also have event rooms for private parties. We do at several locations. It looks like today we have a bunch of cheese heads here. Here we are at our Carson City location, and I wanted to show you the Coors Light Super Cold Mountain. It pours at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's a double glycol system. So it's this is definitely the coldest beer you'll find in town. And I looked at this and thought it was plastic, but this is actually covered in ice. It's super cold for real. It is, yes it is. We're one of the only, well we're, I believe we might be the only tavern that has it and we have one at every single one of our locations. We have other refreshing drinks too. Let me introduce you to one of our libation specialists. What are you gonna make for us today? I'm gonna whip out one of my favorite drinks, the Monster Trash Can today. A monster Trash Can? <laughs> yes. Well, let's see what goes in it. All right. All right, so I'm gonna add some our Long Island mix. I'm gonna do two shots of this. And then I'm gonna add some blue carousel to make it pretty a half shot. That's got a little sweetness to it too, doesn't it? Yeah. And I'm going to top it off with our monster and just let it pour right in there. And that's and why they call it the monster trash can. Exactly. Nice way to get your groove on and mm -hmm. be wide awake while you're doing it. Absolutely. Looks like a fun drink. It is. What's your favorite Opry Ski chilly winter night drink? I would have to say the Snuggler. It makes you feel so warm inside after a long day of skiing, and I highly recommend it. What's in it? So we have some hot, hot chocolate to start off with, and then I'm going to add a shot of our peppermint schnapps. And then I'm going to top it off with some yummy whipped cream. And then top it off with a cherry on top. And there you have it. I understand that Bullies has a great rewards program as well. Mm -hmm. It sure does. I think everyone deserves to be an MVP for Bullies. Every food, beverage that you purchase here, you get points towards it. So we send everybody certificates in the mail for you to get more food and drinks. And if you're not a member yet, then we give you $10 free for you to purchase on food or drink. Just for signing up. Just for signing up. Just for becoming an MVP. Mm -hmm. I want to be an MVP. Everyone should be. I'm guessing we just made a lot of thirsty people out there. I bet we did, and Bullies is a great place to quench that thirst. Which is the first Bullies location that you opened? Bullies 1 is on the corner of Mayan and McCarran. It's the original Bullies location 21 years ago. We're here at the original Bullies on May Ann and McCarran. And Joe, people are gonna be surprised. You're so much more than a sports bar. We are, we have something for kids of all ages. We have game rooms for the kids. We have video poker for the adults. We have great food. We have phenomenal service. We have patios at some of our locations. Let's go check it out. We have supported 
supported the PAC for the last 21 years. We are also involved in our community. We support many local nonprofit organizations, as many as we possibly can. And a lot of the sporting events for the kids around town too, high schools and everything else. Absolutely. Joe, it smells so wonderful in here, I'm starving. Well, let's go over to our Spanish Springs location and have some lunch. I don't know about you, but I am absolutely starving. But first, I can't believe the menu. I remember the days the, of the newspaper style menu that you had. The old bulletin, yes, yes. How your menu has evolved, I mean, the choices here. Thank you. Um, we've really worked hard at um, trying to give everybody a little something on our menu. Um, we have healthy dishes. We have, a, of course, the, the regular pub fare that you're going to find at, any, at sports bars. Um, you know, the, the good old traditional chicken wings and, and that type of a thing. But we do have a lot of healthy items on our menu as well. Well, and I understand you have in this location some pizzas that are fresh made right down to the dill. We I'd do. love to see how you make some of this. Well, come on back. Let's show you. Are people surprised when they find out that your pizza is made fresh here right down to you make your own dough? We do. We make our own dough. Everything is fresh every day. Um, we have original New York style pizzas, the, the extra large um, pies. That would feed a small army. Yes, they will. Which one is this? This is the combo. I think we should rename it everything, including the kitchen sink. I like that. You also make some of your own buns here as well, or bread. We do. We have our own signature uh, cheesy pizza bread. Cheesy pizza bread? Yes. This is our signature uh, bun that we, you can have any one of our hamburgers, um, and we have some specialty uh, sandwiches that you can also have on this bread as well. What are we making with this uh, cheesy pizza bread? This is one of our specialty sandwiches. It's called EJ the DJ. What goes into EJ the DJ? Well, we start out with our own cheesy pizza bread. We put pepper jack cheese. We mix our own Caesar salad. Next, we um, toss our award-winning chicken fingers in whichever sauce you prefer. EJ the DJ might be my new favorite sandwich of all times. How beautiful is that? It's great. These are not ordinary size wings. No, they're not. We use jumbo wings that are juicy and meaty. Every every wing you get at Bullies is, is award winning. Well, you have won a lot of awards for these and you have 10 different flavors. Tell us about this one. It's. Uh, it's trademarked. It's yours exclusively. This is ours. It's uh, sriracha yaki. So it's uh, teriyaki with a, with a bite of sriracha in it. And it's been a, a great seller for the last couple of years. It's delicious. Oh, it's got to be wonderful. Can't wait to try it. And you have a lighter fare for those watching their midsections. Yes, we do. Uh, we have a variety of uh, very healthy salads, big bold salads. We have uh, any of our sandwiches you can get in a tortilla wrap. We have three different flavors of tortilla wrap, so we, we try and uh, accommodate everyone that's trying to be health conscious as, One as of well. my personal favorites are the chicken kebabs and the beef kebabs. Yes. And let's not forget the zesty lime chicken, a good healthy choice as well. Absolutely. You have food for everybody here. We do. All ages? All ages. And a kid's menu to go with it too. Yes. Well, I can't wait to taste all of this. Well, let's go eat. All right, you too. Oh, look at that. Mmm, thank you. My pleasure. That's epic. It's such a great combination between the sriracha, the teriyaki, and the ranch dressing. You get a little spicy, sweet going. It's fantastic. That bread is indescribable it is without a doubt and i mean this the best bread i've ever had on a sandwich in my life and the chicken and the flavors there it's layered it's absolutely fantastic i could not be more excited than to try this handmade homemade pizza oh that is delicious that is fantastic i hope the people watching this can get how fresh this is, how delicious this is, and how comfortable it is to come in here with your whole family. Well, that's what we try to do.
Where do we get to go to next? Let's head to the Galena location. That's on Wedge Parkway and Mount Rose Highway? Yes. I'm excited, let's go. Okay. We're here at the Bullies in Galena, the Bullies Plaza, they should call it. And this location is so spacious and roomy, even when there's a, a number of people, it feels so comfortable. We have a little bit of everything um, at this location, actually at all of our locations, for anyone. We have our, our bar area that has our gaming. We have TV viewing walls at all of the locations, and we have family areas with arcade games. Are people surprised to find out that Bullies is such a family place? I think sometimes they are. That was our goal. We wanted to have an area where families felt comfortable, where you can come in after the high school games, Pop Warner, SYFL, any of the kids sporting events, and still have an adult area as well. In all of our locations, we have a game room too. Let me show you this one. I think they're having a good time. Don't tell anyone, so are their parents. Oh, of course they are. <laughs> Joe, I might give away my age if I told you how many years I've been a patron of Bullies, but the one thing that never changes is every time I come into one and sit down, I feel like everyone knows my name. Well, Mitch, we have been around for 21 years. An icon of our community. A lot of people think that we're a franchise. We're not. We are, we started in Northern Nevada. This is our home. This is what we support. One thing that I, I find surprising is Gambler's Bonus. I thought that was gone, that it was extinct. Well, Bullies and our smoking locations actually have an exclusive on Gambler's Bonus. Anybody that thought they'd lost their points at the end of the year, they didn't. They can come into any Bullies location or smoking location and redeem all of their points. Well, there are going to be a lot of people happy to hear that they didn't lose those. Yeah. Other than the traditional poker, keno, and slot machines, I've never seen buffalo in a bar. We have the exclusive to bar top buffalo slots in northern Nevada. A very popular game right now. Very popular. It, this is unheard of that buffalo has been the most popular slot game for three years running. And now you can find it at Bullies, not just in a casino. Exactly. Bullies is all about good food and great service. As you can see, we support the Nevada Wolf Pack. And who's this? This is Buddy the Bully Guy. Buddy this the is Bully Guy. Mascot. He's special. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> want to thank you for having us here and joining us and your incredible staff that's catered to us this entire day. Thank you so much for doing this. How can people get a hold of you? They can go to bulliesportsbar.com and get information about all of our locations. There are a lot of them. There are. There, that's one of the things. People think that there are only three or four locations. We have seven Bullies locations and four smoking locations. Eleven throughout the Eleven. northern Nevada and Carson City region. Thanks again so much for joining us. Thank you. For more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. Now more from Nevada Business Chronicles. We're here today at the Bell Home Improvement Centers. When they first opened their doors in 1990, they were located in Sparks, Nevada. Forced out of their home by the flood of the Truckee River in 2001, they relocated to the Park Lane Mall. They built this beautiful building in 2006 and now are a full home improvement center. Let's go inside and meet Bill DeAndrea, the president of the Bell Home Improvement Centers. Come with me, let's go. Bill, thanks for agreeing to be on our show. Mitch, thanks for coming in. This is such a beautiful showroom. I don't even know where to begin to start. Where do you want to go? Well, there's a lot happening here. Why don't we start with windows and a little history on glass. Perfect. Let's do that. Well, Bill, I have to admit, you've got my interest. What's this contraption? Mitch, this will give us a little history on glass and how the industry has progressed through the years. Initially, all there was was single pane glass, kept the wind and the rain out. And this is a spectrometer. The faster it spins, the more heat you're losing. You can touch that. Very hot. Ow. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. hot. Okay. That, that. Then in the early 70s, with the oil embargo, they came out with double pane windows, which are two pieces of glass with a metal spacer bar, but it doesn't stop conductivity. And as you can see, you're still losing a lot of energy, and you can feel how much heat's coming out. Uh, yeah, I can still feel that. Then later in the 70s, 
the industry and the technology progressed and they came out with a desiccant that won't conduct heat or cold through the two pieces of glass. You still feel that. And then they have low E on the inside of the glass and argon in the airspace. And you can feel you're still losing the heat, but not quite as much. And then for years, we've been known as a triple pane company. Three pieces of glass, two separate air spaces. And it's like a brick wall. You can't feel anything good. I don't feel anything coming through that, Bill. It's as cool as a cucumber. It's like a brick wall. And as you see, not it even stops moving. spinning. Yeah. Amazing advancements in technology. Now, Bill, this triple pane glass, can it be used in all the different window styles? Yeah, if you come along, I'll show you the different styles that we offer. Bill, it looks like you built a house inside your showroom. Well, a miniature house. And let me show you some different things that we put on here. We have all different styles of windows on the home. We've got different panels of vinyl siding, uh, soffit and fascia to enclose the eaves on the home. And this particular window is a double hung window. Both sashes will tilt in for washing and cleaning, you never have to go outside. Oh, fantastic. Uh, patio doors are the biggest energy loss on a home, and we have triple pane patio doors. And see how easy they slide on steel rollers. What we have next is a bow window. A bay window? No, it's a bow window. What's it's, the difference, Bill? A bay window always has three windows, like this one here. A bow window can be 14 foot wide, with a window every two foot. We can order this from the factory prefab and install it in one day. We have a variety of entry doors, fiberglass entry doors, wooden entry doors, single doors, double entry doors, side lights, just depends on the situation of the home. Well, Bill, it's starting to look like you really do everything. Well, Mitch, when you said that we do a lot of types of home improvements, we really do. These are acrylic tub and shower pan systems variety of different colors, even seated. But what my personal favorites are the walk-in tubs. These are walk-in tubs. You step up four inches. They are all for safety. You grab the handle and you just swing yourself into the chair. You close the tub and you put the amount of water in and the temperature. There's a silent motor that keeps the temperature of the water to whatever you put in. I imagine a lot of people at the end of the day after a hard day's work or just with sore muscles would sit in this and you must be their favorite person ever. Everyone says the same thing. They sleep like babies at night once they go in here. Bill, you promised to take me out to a job site so we can see you in action. You know, I did and we have a job I'd love to take you to. That we're doing a variety of different types of home improvements there uh, right now. Well, let's go do that. All righty. Now, Bill, we're here at this property that you're doing a remodel job on, a big job. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about what you're going to do here. Well, Mitch, we're going to do a variety of things. We're going to, first of all, put insulated vinyl siding on the entire exterior of the home. Then we're going to replace the lower windows on the house with brand new windows. We're also going to replace the entry doors on the front of the house. And then after we've done installed the siding, we're going to bring a machine in and we're going to put a seamless drain gutter around the entire house. So the house will completely be looking different when we're done. Well, let's take a closer look at what you're doing at the house, if we can. Okay. Bill, uh, what are we doing here? Well, we're going to remove this old window. As you can see, it's already partially removed from the home. And then we're going to install a brand new window. We have to pre-measure every window to within an eighth of an inch on the width and the height so that the fit is perfect and it's level for energy efficiency too. So Bill, over here we're at the next stage of that installation where we can see the new window has been set. New window has been rough set into the opening. We replaced double pane when this is a triple pane window, more energy efficiency. What remains is to finish the exterior trim and the interior trim of the window. Then we'll wash the glass, take the stickers off, and it's ready for operation. Great. Well, let's go take a look at the side of the house. That's exciting. Okay. Bill, there's a lot going on here. Uh, as we can see, part of this has already begun. Tell us what you're doing here. Well, we just started installing this side of the home with insulated vinyl siding. And it has a wood grain texture to it to look like a real piece of wood. And we install them with inch and a half roofing nails, as you see. And we allow that nail to head to back off about a quarter of an inch because vinyl will expand and contract. Other companies will use electric staple guns 
because it's quicker. But in Nevada, the winds are so fierce, it will blow the siding off in good winds. We do not subcontract our labor like other companies do. Our men work for the Bell Home Improvement Center and paid as employees. I can control the quality of our work much better that way. Now, what we have here are vinyl insulated panels. Years ago, the panels were hollow. Nowadays, they laminate the insulation to the panel so that, as you see, it looks continual. There's no bows or oil canning it. It looks like a real wood home. Every job, we want the highest quality workmanship we can do. And that's what's kept us around for almost 26 years now. Well, let's take a look at where this started. I think people are going to be surprised to see how far this has already come. Bill, from the back of this house, you can really see the size of it. This is a lot bigger job than it looks like. Well, Mitch, you're right. It's about two and a half times the size of an average job. But we've done jobs that are a lot bigger than this. And we'll probably, from start to finish, with the windows, everything that we're doing, we'll be done within three weeks. We also work weekends. We work Saturdays, we work Sundays. When we start a job, we come to the job site every single day until it's finished. We don't throw a spike in and come Monday and show up on Thursday. We're here every single day. Here we are just a few weeks later and you've had all of those crews here at this house. What a magnificent transformation. Tell me about all the work that you have done at this property. Well, Mitch, we had a, a roofing crew that did a top roof for the, for the lady here. In addition to that, we've had our vinyl siding crews out here, of course, and then we had our coating crews out here. And then the last thing is the windows, the replacement windows and the entry doors that we've done out here. You know, yeah. speaking of the products that you've installed here, there's some confusion, I think, uh, amongst uh, homeowners about warranties and what part you do and what part manufacturers play in that. So maybe we can have a little conversation about that and help educate our community. Okay. Well, first of all, DeBell does not manufacture anything. We're licensed contractors in Nevada and California. So our warranty to the homeowner is workmanship for four years, the quality of the installation. Uh, it's not the product itself. That's the manufacturer that built it because we don't build anything. Bill, this is probably one of the greatest transformations of the whole house, this porch. It's completely different. We did a bump out porch to the end of the slab here and then we put soffit and fascia like the body of the house so that everything was uniform. And then in addition we put triple pane windows in in the front of the home as well as new fiberglass entry doors and side lights and it come out very nice. Well let's take a look at the rest of it. Unbelievable Bill, the transformation <laughs> of this house. I can't even believe it. It's beautiful. Well we, we went around the house and we did the soffits and the fascias and the body of the house in vinyl siding as well as the wraps around all the windows and then the last thing is we came in with downspouts and put downspout around the exterior of the home. Absolutely, like a brand new home. I bet the homeowner is thoroughly happy. Well, she hugged me. Not only did you get a big hug, but her son-in-law asked if he could say a few words. Let's go meet him. Mitch, I'd like you to meet Tony. He's the son-in-law of the homeowner. Tony, thank you so much for agreeing to take a couple of minutes and share your experience with us. What a transformation. It is, isn't it? Um, when Barbara first started this project, she had hired a contractor that uh, just took her money and didn't want to do any work for her. So she even had to go to the contractor's board to get her money back. Uh, and then after that, she tells us that the greatest day of her life, the luckiest day of her life was meeting Bill with the Bell Home Improvements. He did what he said he was gonna do. He followed through on it. It was done in a timely fashion. And as you can see, the, the house just speaks for itself. Thanks so much for sharing that experience with Thank us. Thank you. Thank Probably you, Bill. Bill, on that note, I'm sure there are a lot of other homeowners that want to know how to get a hold of you so they can transform their homes like this one. Well, in 25 years, we've done a lot of work in the community, and we're located at 2600 South Virginia, right across the street from the Pepper Mill, a showroom you can come into any day of the week, or you can call us at 1-800-669-3386, or you can visit our website, dbellinc.com. Thanks so much for joining us. What a wonderful transformation. Thanks for sharing that with Thank us. Thank you.
more information on this guest or to see this show in its entirety, visit nvbusinesschronicles.com. While you're there, you can watch all of our past shows on the Chronicles page and stay connected with us by following us on our social media. For information on becoming a guest on our show, contact us at info at nvbusinesschronicles.com. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Tune in next week at the same time for more from Nevada Business Chronicles. Yes, she can go bowling on Friday. Yes, of course. Thank you, Allie. And tell Amber I love her.